Hello, hello, everybody. We are so excited Lunch to be here lady. again with you today. Hello, everyone. And we have another live. And if you didn't know this already, today is when we are going to reveal our spring release transfers. And we are so excited about this today, you guys. Yes. Hello from Vegas. Oh, Ooh, hello. Fun, fun. It we is, are going to have fun today, you guys. It is getting so hot in here that I need to defog my glasses. It is not hot. It's 60 I'm degrees. talking about the room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I saw Jeanette. Funny. Hi, Jeanette. Netherlands, Kansas. I mean, Hello. we got everyone from all over. I am probably hacking this, but Gia, is that how you pronounce your name? Is it Gia? If you if you hear that, <laughs> tell me, because we see you so much making beautiful stuff. Is that Gia who does the beautiful molds? Yes, the beautiful mold work. Yes. Such gorgeous stuff. Thank Hi, you for see. sharing it. Lynn. Hello. All, All right. our new friends. Everyone is flooding in. This is so wonderful. And today we are going to be talking about the new spring release transfers. We have three new designs coming at you. Um, we're super excited about them. They are rich, delicious florals. If you saw a sneak peek on our Instagram, um, and Facebook, the little sneak peek video last week, then you know there's something exciting coming at you today. Gia. She said that's okay. So something tells me you that didn't pronounce I'm not it right. Pronouncing it right. <laughs> it's probably Gia. I've always thought it was Gia. Is Gia right, Gia? <laughs> we'll find out. Okay, you guys. Let's get started. We are going to go ahead and just show you each design first. But before we do that, even we talk about this, there are some of you, not probably very many, but we don't want to assume that everybody knows what a transfer is, um, what an IOD transfer is. So years ago, Josie and I um, innovated this product for the decor market, uh, for the uh, boutique painting industry, furniture upcyclers, mm -hmm. for our kind of DIY. Niche. Yes, um, for this industry. So we brought them to market and what they are is a beautiful uh, designs that are on a, it's a pressure sensitive film. She says it better. That has a dry adhesive and you apply it to your pieces whether it's furniture or whether it is wall art or decor on your walls mm -hmm. it's very very um versatile in that way but it's a pressure sensitive dry rub on film mm -hmm. it's very very thin so that it really integrates and the texture of your piece comes through it so you don't right. have a sticker look right it looks like a hand painted design right on your piece and um so that is what a transfer is what makes our transfers different are a few things um we have the smallest halo on the transfer so anyway i kind of skipped over so we brought them to market but since then it's four years later and there are other people that have since brought them um similar products to market but ours are different in that they have the smallest halo on the market of any transfers um it's a very it's a micro um halo so it's not as noticeable it's necessary some halo is necessary for this type of product but ours is the smallest yes we also curate our designs uh, very intentionally and um we we also are careful not to flood the market with right. one particular design we're so, very very intentional mm -hmm. about how many of the designs we allow into the market even if it's still going strong mm -hmm. um we don't want you to see it everywhere you go right and when sal said we curate our designs it's so true um when we're looking at designs we look at 
um, a lot of different things, but in all of the things, whether you are farmhouse or whether you are maximalist or boho, everything we make for you, we want to be able to be used for high style. We want it to look classy mm -hmm. um, and to not be um, too, um, well, it doesn't matter. We want it to look classy. That's what mm -hmm. we focus on. So we're really yeah. particular Boutique, about that. high end, um, distinctive yeah designs so that is what we are very very intentional about um jose and i still drive the design department mm -hmm. and so that is something that is near and dear to our heart that we feel is a worthy investment of our time even as our team grows yeah we have our finger on on that yeah um we've also enjoyed teaching you about our um grid feature that we mm -hmm. have been doing for mm -hmm. oh a year and a half, two years now. Yes, again, and that was a feature that that, is. that we innovated, that we brought um, first to the market because we're always thinking about the use of our products. We use them ourselves, so we know exactly what you guys are looking Speaking for, language. what you want, um, because we want it too. So that's how we um, know what you guys want. That really drives <laughs> our product. Yes. So I know that they're like, okay, this is all good. Show, Show us. us. <laughs> Let's do it. That was a little backstory, like yes. nutshell, about mm -hmm. the history of transfers in our pressure sensitive transfers mm -hmm. in our industry niche. Yes. Okay. Let's kick it off with a little floral anthology. Yes. So, floral <laughs> anthology. We've got glare in the packaging, and I know. Oh, going, good idea. I can't see it. I can't see it. Good idea. <laughs> if you guys hear some buzz in the back room. Oh, let me shut that door. It's, <laughs> we actually painted the pieces that we're going to be transferring. Do what we say, not what we do. <laughs> right. You want to have that sealer cured for longer than... <laughs> <laughs> but you know so confessions confessions so um this is oh, oh let's put it back over here i thought you were bringing the other one no no not yet. okay so um floral anthology is a mix of elements from engravings by Henry Fletcher, from um, an amazing work that was in, done in the um, early 1700s. It's rich Renaissance mm -hmm. colors just rocked our world. And if we're you guys like, could have seen us when we were when we stumbled upon the designs, and we were going crazy. We were. We were like. We, our people need this. <laughs> this has to happen. So exactly. it's, let's open it up and yeah. take a peek. So these are um, orchestrated in a way that allows you to arrange them. There's like a bulk piece and then there's pieces that you can, mm -hmm. so that you can arrange them differently on and your- And we'll show you the examples on the back of the packaging so you can kind of see yes. the different arrangements. Look at that detail, you guys, and the depth. Oh, yeah, this color so combination beautiful. just, uh, it just made a swoon. So, mm -hmm. okay. Now, here's an example of pieces that are arranged in such a way that you can build upon each other so that you can um, create your own um, composition. Mm -hmm. But... They're in cluster. They're still in clusters. Things poking out. Yes. Okay. Yes. For trailing. Mm -hmm. But we did these ones instead of indiv individual flowers. We try to keep them in clusters. So that makes it easy. You don't have to do the composition completely from scratch. Right. So you so see another. There we go again. Yes. And this could be, I think, did we take one sheet out of this? How many? Yes. There's eight sheets. The, this, and I think that's one? what we, yeah. Is it this one? Okay. Yes. <laughs> one. We used it two, as our sample three, for. Oh, we took, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is right. This one's four sheets. Okay. Yes. Okay. 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 And let's look at, okay. There so we let go. me see if we can get in 
close and look to at the some of the Yeah. There we go. There. You guys, isn't that gorgeous? That's one of the compositions all together. So pretty. Look at how beautiful it is on that distressed off white. So pretty. And this is going to be so beautiful for traditional, for farmhouse, for French farmhouse. It is going to go with so many styles because it's classic and mm -hmm. timeless. Yeah, you can go with a total rustic chippy like we mm -hmm. have here on this bench. Mm -hmm. Or imagine this on a rich, deep russet red. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be gorgeous. You mm -hmm. could pull so many different, there's so many colors in this to pull. They're all really rich renaissance -y colors, but so definitely they, they do not lack depth. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm watching the comments. Isn't that a beautiful blushy <laughs> pink? I love, it's like a ballet slipper. This one is called Floral Anthology. And I don't even know, on screen, that pink looks cooler than it actually is. Yes, Terry. Terry said add some grape stamps too. Oh, yes. Go in before you apply this and before you seal. Pull one of these colors and create mm -hmm. a, a, a grape type toile on the background. Mm -hmm. Give it a light sanding. Put your sealer, then go in with your transfer and beautiful. compose a beautiful floral that with that. That's so excellent. Pretty. I love that look, and we've seen people do it mm -hmm. where you have you're combining your stamps to complement your transfers in a way that has like you've got that light, um, subtle, twall like look in yeah. the background. It's such a great way, and to um, not stretch, but like to so it doesn't look like blank in areas where mm -hmm. maybe you would have liked to have it just more adds depth it fills it yeah. in and, and just creates a lot of character uh somebody asked yesterday when we were revealing our stamps because we had some more clean lines in our stamp designs if iod was moving away from their vintage i think this answers that question <laughs> <laughs> quite thoroughly no our heart is still here so these these designs definitely speak to that and we'll never move away from vintage because it's like blue jeans it never goes out of style florals vintage anything classic and timeless we're about it so don't worry about that okay melanie says i have plans for this one i know <laughs> i know i love this one i, I can't so wait much. we can't wait to see what you guys do with these because we know you have plans for them and you are going to make them shine we design them but you guys make them shine and we can't wait to see what you do with them okay sprinkled. yes sprinkled the stamps sprinkled in with the transfers oh, okay. i think that's what patrice <laughs> okay. is saying yes Awesome. Okay, so All let's right. move to June. So we told you we loved this palette mm -hmm. and the Renaissance look of these florals. Well, that's why we have it in two different, they're not the same florals, but they're from the same um, uh, collection. Mm -hmm. And this one is a scene in an urn that we loved. So you see a piece of it, a detail, but let's go back here so you can see. Is it pretty? Do you guys love Is it? Is that gorgeous? And here, we'll show look it on. This. Yeah, look at this. Look at you guys. That. Oops. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm like, everything's backwards. I know. Does that not have your heart? It has my heart. And it's got the botanical at, labels on, on the, the very bottom. Yes, on the bottom. Wait. We'll open it up and show oh. you in detail because yeah. I think that this is not very. Oh, <laughs> not, not right here. Not very um, sharp on screen. No, yeah, but we'll you show can you guys. see. And if any of you are following like different decor magazines, mm -hmm. um, these are the type of designs you will see in like decor and mm -hmm. architectural digest and veranda in the interiors they have in here but like why shouldn't we with a little less extravagant homes also have those type of beautiful pieces so Absolutely. let's open this up another thing to note is 
And this is important when we're when we're planning these things, we like try to really, we have a process for like catching like potential problems and creating solutions for them. So one of those is alignment. Mm -hmm. When you're putting a scene together that is intended to be a scene or you wanna use it as a scene, um, having a really straight line creates an artificial um, piece that is difficult to blend yeah. in s some designs anyways. Mm -hmm. um, so what we do is we make those separations um, irregular to go, we move an irregular line through the designs so them? that, for example, this, this is a seam right here that is going to meet up with the next piece in that scene to the right, the upper create right. create it like a puzzle piece. Yes, so what that does, aside from, your eye is drawn, when you're looking at an organic image, your eye is drawn to anything inorganic, anything that is precise, like a straight hard line. Mm -hmm. Whereas this gives you forgiveness because even if you don't get it exactly lined up, it's not like, a sore thumb. Right, it really does blend so well. You would have to be hunting for it and even then not find exactly. it. Exactly, in fact, when we go apply this, we'll get a close up of bringing those seams together. Yes. So you can see this is the side that would seam with mm. that one. I love the muted jewel tones yeah. in these, both of these florals. I know. They you know have what? Let's like these gorgeous eggplants and lavenders that are just, Oops. I'm sorry for the there we go. Good. That's a little Good lower, idea. Huh? That's a little better. And just this gorgeous, the, the yellows aren't yellow. They're deep marigold. Yeah. And um, it, when you guys see these in person, they're even prettier in person. You have to get your hands on these. Um, the stockists, these are shipping the same time as the stamps. Um, so we will be shipping them in early May. They will have them uh, by mid-May. That's our estimate, of course. Um, with shipping and uh, manufacturing the way it is, there is always, you know, be patient with the stockists because it's not them. It's kind of us and not even really us. It's the ports. So just be <laughs> just patient. Just working with all of the challenges yeah. with freight these days. With COVID and all that good stuff. So. I could see, couldn't you see pulling this grass green mm. and doing like somebody who mentioned it, um, doing the stamping in the background in yes, a twall Terry. type of, yes. That would be beautiful. I love that. Okay, now here's the bottom left section. Mm -hmm. And it is, there you can see the urn mm -hmm. and how that, that irregular. Deep shadowing in there. Yes, and oop, there's some buns. <laughs> <laughs> Little cherub buns. Um, that irregular that so cut cute. so that you can seam these naturally again. And okay. The lower right. I, Our Linda says, I've been saving up for this. She's look at that. ready to look throw. Bloom. Is that freaking have your heart? Oh my goodness. Is that gorgeous? So pretty. I know. Right. Guys. Isn't it a cute little bun? <laughs> yes. The name of the transfer is June. Oh, to Henry Fletcher. Mm -hmm. We love when we when we are curating historic art and we um, are able to um, find who did this. We love to celebrate mm -hmm. them and uh, when we bring it to our people. And this is such a time. I mean, Henry Fletcher, when you look at his artwork, he was, it's just, he had a, this is a unique look to me. Um, yeah. And it's just so beautiful. So anyways, mm -hmm. okay. So um, that is Floral Anthology in June. Ode to Henry Fletcher. Now, our next one, we've had a hard time keeping our lips sealed about because we had um, weeping and gnashing of teeth over the retirement of Radau. Well, the reason we retired it is because we wanted to make some improvements and bring it back to you. And so we have Radau 2. 
Isn't he amazing, Tammy? And I mean, what better way to celebrate artists of old than to go right into Riddell? Is this beautiful? The colors are richer and deeper and more striking. Um, if you thought that could even be the case, I mean, Radau is gorgeous as it is, but we've improved it. We have added a little more color option for you. And um, more blooms. More blooms. Eight sheets right. of blooms. There's a couple that are connected with their stems, but we were really strategic mm -hmm. about, um, how we laid these out so that they would be really versatile for you and easy to take like this bloom and put it here and I'll need this much stem. So let me just show you what we mean. Okay. Mm. Mm. Look at the size of this. Is that beautiful? We like big blooms and we cannot lie. <laughs> Okay, you guys are loving this. I'm so glad because we do too and we knew you would. Yay. Okay. Eight sheets. I know. Right? So way more value, you guys. There's way more value in this yes. in the um this new transfer format. And how much do you love the original Script. labels? All the in that beautiful script, script mm -hmm. that they used. Is that gorgeous? We had to have that. Because those are bits and pieces that you can fit in. Yes. Like, oh, I'm going to put that over here in this corner coming out. Just mm -hmm. a, a Look at this hint. one. I love the way this bloom. I am, all my this is so I am a, a, a rose nut. And so right now all of my roses are blooming. And this just reminds me of my rose bushes, the way that the characteristic of the way they start to drop after the heavy blooms open up and it just bends over like this is so beautiful and just graceful. So I love this one. And this one is like, you could make this an art piece all in. Yeah. And it's on its own. That would be a huge, beautiful print. Mm, yes. Beautiful. And then I love these corals mm -hmm. that are brought in with the deep reds. It's one of my favorite color combinations when you have some warm reds and cool reds together. Mm -hmm. And the darkness and the corals and the brightness all together, it just adds such a richness and a depth that uh, I just, it's, it's the type of florals that I look for when I'm looking for fabrics or mm -hmm. decor in general. I just really want those rich, um, luscious florals. Yes. And here we get into just what you were saying, some of the deeper and some of the more coral. Yeah. And just yeah, so. give them your up close peek. Is that beautiful, you we guys? We have to tilt it for the glare. There we go. Mm -hmm. Here we go. There we go. I could see this making a, a gorgeous all over design with some um, repeat pattern in the background that's uh, watermarked to create some just mm -hmm. beautiful movement and texture and character in the background with these on top. Yes, I think we have one more, no, two more sheets here. Okay. Oh, so, so pretty. Those see olive here. greens are yes. so rich. Because what we found is that the ability to create kind of um, bouquets, um, versus having some that are on stems was helpful. And so mm -hmm. that is why we laid them out this way so that you can do both. You can have bloom centric designs mm -hmm. that you've got the blossoms in there. Um, but then you can also work in some stems. Mm -hmm. So it's not as limiting. Oh, oh that was three sheets more. I'd only gone through five. Man, you guys. It's <laughs> a lot. Blooms for days. <laughs> a lot of sheets. And Deborah wants one of everything. Eight. Beautiful. No, we're still here, I'm, Sandy. I'm well, we've got something to put it on, but it'd be fun. Like, I would love to put one of these on the wall later. Yeah. In our mural. Yeah. Our, our tech. What do you call it when something is just gross? Menagerie. Or uh, <laughs> like a um, 
it just keeps you keep adding to it it's like the manchester mystery wall yeah exactly <laughs> exactly we keep adding and adding exactly i know isn't it beautiful is that the last sheet okay that is that the last is Redow too you guys we're super excited about this one we know you are as well um and those are our three transfers and we are going to see if our piece is dry enough yes should we're i get transfer the... you guys want us to transfer some of these should we do this one to you so in we can action? demonstrate the seams sure. in that seam? Yeah, good idea. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, we are going to bring you guys on a little transferring journey. Hold up, we could do both. We could do, I could work on this and yeah. you could put the the green um, sure. nightstand right here. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, we can, we can fit both. We'll just make the sc screen wider. Yeah. So we'll set up back here. And we'll widen the screen. Perfect. Do you need some help? Okay. Do you want me to move this out of the way? Yeah. Okay. Let's move that. And then this can be going this way. I'll just move this this way. Excuse right. the noise. There we go. And I think if you have it this way, that allows you to be right in there. Okay. Wherever you need it. And perfect. I'll be right here. Just will be right there. And I'm going to change the camera angle here. And we'll get ourselves all set up. Okay, now, should we go with your phone or this? Probably your phone so we have more control. And well, can, I think the sound is leaving on your this, phone. Leaving this like it is, oh. right? Then I can work in this and you Oh, on the that. flat. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I see what you're saying. Okay. Now, Okay. Yeah, this looks nice and dry. We were so, <laughs> this, when we were sealing this, it was <laughs> mixing in with the paint. It was so fresh. <laughs> I know. Don't reveal don't, our, again, our secrets. Again, not best practice. I'm putting this right up there. Okay. Okay. And I'm working at an odd angle sideways, but I think that's okay, especially mm -hmm. because let me raise this up higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. I think that works. Yeah. This is perfect. We can do pr two projects at once so well. What do you guys it. think of that? This is idea. kind of a strange <laughs> angle, but I think I can make it. You know it work. what? Let's do this. Let's bring this to the corner here. And move it. There we go. Just like that. More, a little more towards you. Is that in your way? This is this side. Okay, that's a Not little bit. Yet, I think I can live with that. Okay. Excellent. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay. <sighs> All right, guys. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I'm going to try to watch comments, but it will be hard. Let me. There we go. Are you doing floral anthology? I am not. I am doing June. June. Ode okay. to Henry Fletcher. Just getting these out to get a sense of the balance in here. So these are going to be like right there. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep um, an eye on the comments from my phone over here. Both of these are wood. So Josie's piece is a big piece of, I think, plywood. And then this is, if you guys remember how we're, um, we did a stamped impressed of the alphabet um, of our retro stamp on this little piece. It was navy blue and gold. And we are repurposing this. So that this is the side of that. Okay. Here. Okay. I'm going to start laying out my Sweet. So I'm thinking I'm going to move this. You know what? I'm going to move this this way a little bit. Okay. Very nice. So I'm going to bring this up just a bit. Just a bit. But this is... Do you have scissors over there? About where I know. Okay. I'm going to want this. And I did not measure the board, guys. So I'm just going to eyeball placement. And um, use the grids to be my main guide. And I'm going to start with the lower right. Let me bring this in a little bit. I'm sorry for the shake, guys. Okay. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I know that I'm about in this area. You're going to measure and use center marks when you do your pieces. Um, but I'm not doing that right now. I'm just going to use the grid for aligning it, seeing like this, um, that it's perpendicular. And then I'm going to lay this first one down. I'm going to hover. I'm going to not touch the design. I'm going to hover over my edge and I'm over here. I mean, sorry, hover over my surface and we are going to land right about here. And I feel very perpendicular to these edges. So I'm down and committed. I'm going to lay that and begin transferring. Now, when you transfer yours, you are doing it on a sealed, painted sealed surface that has been cured, at least partially cured, thoroughly dry. Um, and like Sally said, we made an error in not preparing this yesterday. But now we're all good. <laughs> These yes, colors. Cindy, they are very exciting. Wendy, um, so your question is, are you able to use these on fabric such as denim, like the back of a jean jacket? We have seen this done. That is what we consider off-label use. It is not the typical use. We have seen it done and people have been successful at it. We have not personally used them on fabric, but if you look in our creative tribe and search that up, you'll definitely see people doing that and they can give you instructions um, on the wearability and the care and all of that.
remembers or knows or has heard of catching a wave when it comes to transfer? It is still a thing. It's still a thing. And I'm always very cautious about teaching it because you have to be careful. Yeah, you well that two things. You've got to be careful because if you get too aggressive and are getting it down too fast, um, you can get um, like uh, tears in the transfer. This is very thin um, substrate or fi not fiber um, film. And um, but also you want like the actual rubbing as opposed to catching that air, that air and forcing it off. The rubbing is giving you that pressure contact that you want with your surface. So I could, for example, go in and like watch this and get it off of this backing very quickly. See that? Okay, that's just like coming right off. But then that area would not have that contact. So you've got to like, after you do that, make sure you go in and rub before you remove this. And then you want to really burnish thoroughly, which you do want to do anyways. This is such a difficult angle to work. I'm sorry. Do you want to That's okay. adjust? No, no, it's all right. I'll just... Okay, now I'm going to take a piece of this and I'm going to burnish this. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. I really like using this as a burnishing and I just like take my fingers. And sometimes you do want to like, if you do a little easy fold of the edges, if they're, if you're finding that they're catching on the surface or whatever, and so I'm at first lightly because that way anything that's not down all the way you're getting down before you more add more firm pressure. And you want to be, if you look in the light, if you look down in the light, you'll be able to see where if, if you're working on like a, a surface that has lots of paint texture, you'll be able to see that texture coming through when you burnished it thoroughly mm -hmm. and i've got three fingers on here and i am putting a fair amount of pressure so that i can really burnish it in there okay next let's do the second piece this and I'm going to get in close with the camera so you can see as I line that up. So, man, this is jumpy. So we painted, if somebody asked, how do we prepare the plywood? So we just painted, Josie painted a coat of mineral base or chalk type paint and then sealed it with a uh, flat sealer. A water-based sealer. Mm -hmm. Although that doesn't mean you can't use, but we tend to really use water-based sealers. And a lot of people use these without sealing and say that they have no problem mm -hmm. and that's fine too. We just have our preferred way that we love and we do feel like the adhesion is enhanced mm -hmm. when you go onto a less porous surface, so. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply this beautiful piece. And I really wanted to, I think you can see, I wish I could get a little closer. I can't, can I? No. Okay. And, okay, guys, see there? You can see, and you're just looking at those edges. I'm holding this end up off the surface and just bringing this together and lining that up, just like a little puzzle. And I think we're good right there. Okay. 
Now this happened to also fall in, and this is, we're strategic about where we put these seams because this was an area of deep shadows um, against the lighter um, highlights of the urn. So um, as you line those up, you'll see that also, let me move this. Here we go. Um, it is still perpendicular to your edges because you can see the um, grid lines up this way. Oops. Caught some air there. <laughs> So if you guys are wondering where to find these, how to buy these, you want to go, we work through um, approved stockists only, and we're very particular about our stockists and who they Oops. are, and we um, have a store locator where you can connect, and they're wonderful with these products. Uh, they use them all the time. They know exactly how to teach you how to use them. They have workshops. So definitely connect with them. If you don't have one already, you can use our store locator or our list of online stores. And Stephanie has probably been posting that in the comments. So but if not, it's on our website, right on our header, ironorchiddesigns.com, right on our header, online stores or stores near me. Oops, I keep getting my head in the way of the camera. Rudal happening I know, over it's, there. It's Sorry. It's really awkward working on camera. It is, but I feel like this is pretty cool. What do you guys think about this? Do you know how to refresh that? I mean, I know you do. I don't. Um, about doing the two projects. You just click on new comments. See it? Yeah, but I can't reach it. Oh, 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 oh I see. It's not touch screen. Never mind. There you go. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oops. I keep bumping. Oh, there's this glare. I wonder if I can. I can't. <laughs> oh, well, when I'm done, you'll see that the, you'll see how the seams come together so beautifully. Oh, you know what else too that we haven't talked about for those who are new to transfers is the fact that we, I don't know how many releases it's been since we reformatted into pads from mm -hmm. tubes. Um, has it been three releases? I don't remember how many product <laughs> drops we've had since then, but we've reformatted into pads like we've been showing you and they used to be in tubes and some of the um, reason and benefit that we had in mind was um, the obvious shipping, like being able to ship to customers at a more efficient and less wasteful um, rate um, and waste of space. Like when you, the tubes, as cool as they were, um, you know, they're like 75% empty inside of those. And then finally, being able to manage 12 by 16 sheets way easier than one large sheet um, in a way that is um, still easy to seam them together naturally without harsh straight lines. So those are like, oh, and storage, I'm sorry. When you've only used some of them, you can cut pieces off the pages and store them carefully and safely within the pad in a stack without taking up a ton of space. So. Mm, I'm loving the way this Rodeo is coming out. Ooh. Do you guys like it? Me too. Cool. 
I love that. It's kind of, this is like a super light olivey color. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are all down. I'm going to burnish. And then I'm going to take the camera off so I can come down and show you close up the seam. Because this, that aspect is definitely, it's important um, so that you have um, a cohesive, a harmonious flow across your design without any, mm -hmm. um, like, interruptions. And this transfers layer beautifully. Yes, they do. I'm just layering up myself a little. Oh. Wow, that went on easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm telling you, and I want to hear from some of you guys, like share in the tribe or whatever. When you get some of these and you are piecing the seams together on a scene, I want to hear your feedback because like it is so satisfying, like something about bringing the the edges together and that fit together in a puzzle type way is very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Now, yes, I'm a little bit of a product geek, but okay, we've really got this finished down. Let's continue. But before I do, let's Actually, I'll do it after. I'll go over all the seams once we've got the whole thing down. I'm going to turn this around and move you for a minute over there. And just flip this so that I'm working on that. many blooms in this you guys it's when you're putting together a floral whether you're going with a natural uh, more botanical look or you're creating an all-over pattern or mm -hmm. you're creating a bouquet you have all of those options available to you and there's so many options here that as I'm building this bouquet it's so easy for me to choose direction um, based on any piece and what's going to work, the composition and layout that's going to work for that piece. Yes. So that's really important. And those are the things that we thought about as we were creating. Let me bring up a close of this. Oh, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Oh, oh, yes. See how I layered that. Oh, yes. I also wanted to quickly just a little... Um, lesson on your burnishing getting a look in the side light like looking in the glare where you can see you'll catch little wrinkles and that's a sign i need to go back and burnish that area better so for example let's look this is really close up okay see those little wrinkles i'm going to get in there and really burnish that down so that they're down mm. okay and let me find that seam. Um, okay, we knew it was over here and somewhere, okay, right in there. So you, yeah, the seam is like indiscernible. It's so indiscernible. Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna put this back on and apply the rest of this. <laughs> Donna's obsessing on how the wood back looks. She said, did you use the silicone blade to spread the paint? I don't think you did. Did you use no, the brush? No, I just used a brush on this one. Okay. 
Okay. Let's the water. And we'll do this side. I'm going to take this. And the transfers, you guys, they're, they're very different um, in terms of how they apply, depending on the paint, the humidity, um, everything. And so sometimes they just go on like a dream super fast like these are um, and sometimes you have to work a little bit harder don't be discouraged by that it's worth it when it's all done there we go okay so these edges down there are going to align with this here okay let's see here we are right see that there Oh, you can't see because the glare, darn it. But I'll show the seam when it's done. But it's it's pretty, it makes it easier to um, just piece together. I know I'm kind of harping on the same thing, but. You can see like, and even if we didn't get that exact, because there's no straight lines, it's forgiving and it's not gonna draw your eye to it. Oh yeah, see there? I love that. I wanna get, in fact, let me do this. I'm gonna take that off so you guys can see up close because this is such, we feel like, um, such an important aspect. Can you sell Actually, I can. I can hold this and then just kind of shift this. You can see there, guys. How that fits. But if you missed it, or if you didn't get it exact, there's no harsh lines that are going to draw your eye to it. So it's forgiving. But we're going to get it right. It's pretty easy to just get it right up in mm -hmm. where it goes so I'm using this entire sheet um, the one I talked about earlier that could be a beautiful art piece on its own and I've decided to use this on here and just layer it with its strip just where it is and have it intertwine and layer over the other branch. Yes, we are good. We are right in place. <laughs> and boom. Oh, that is so pretty. It's so sophisticated with this color. Yeah. Oh. I love the rich. It's complex colors. Mm -hmm. They're not. So, um, so pretty. Yeah. Ooh, Robin, you have got to share those pictures in the tribe. Robin says, I'm a huge fan of your products. I just did an extremely old farmhouse cupboard made with beadboard and used your fern transfers. Oh, wow. Love. Oh, do share it in the tribe, Robin. Definitely. Oops, let me get more in. And as you're transferring, you guys, you'll see as the transfer transfers, it uh, becomes less opaque on the, the carrier sheet. 
See, I can tilt this so you can yeah. see what she's talking about. Like mm -hmm. this part here has transferred. I'm gonna demonstrate it with a, a wave. See how that color, Ooh. as it comes off of the carrier, it becomes, you don't see it as clearly. I just want to point out that I totally just flubbed up and it's no big deal. Like I went up and I pulled this corner by accident and it pulled, it pulled off and I just laid it right back down and it's fine. It didn't, um, and even if it did break the design a little bit, um, we have found time and time again yeah. that it ends up working with your overall piece. It's very, very rare that you make a mistake with the transfers that, um, is not something that ends up working with the design. In fact, um, whenever you're doing pieces and you're spanning a panel break, like there's a panel and then it goes down and then another, and you, if you're spanning across those as opposed to uh, using your grids and cutting a piece for that panel, whenever you span something that requires it to stretch, you'll get the cracks in it. And that's just part of it um, and not it's not a negative thing. It's just part of the design. And typically there's some aspect of distress when you're doing a piece like that too. So it works. I'm going to actually lay this one down because it's hard to get at this moment. Do you need help? No, we can take that. You're seeing her underpart. <laughs> my mama always told me make sure there's no cobwebs on my underside. <laughs> going to give it the burnish. Where's my burnish piece? Can I use it? Oh, there it is. Now, when we go to apply this last quarter, um, you're going to be checking your alignment or your matchup because it's like that, your matchup on both of these edges. And I'll show you how, even though I'm doing it kind of leaning over far, but let's get this burnished. Look in the light, any wrinkles indicate I need to burnish a bit more. Oh, I keep... Do you want to put that on the ground? Yeah. <laughs> Let's turn this and put that on the ground for you. Thank you. I'll just get it done and then put it back up on you okay. can see it. Okay. So much better. Yeah. <laughs> Get this one down now. Whoop, whoop. Oh, you guys, this is so fun. It's so pretty. I can't wait to so show pretty. you. Okay, so we are going to hover and line up our shapes, our edge shapes. And I think 
We are golden. We are golden. I'm at an odd angle, so I'm kind of hovering over myself. I'm looking at that. So this is the last alignment and the most challenging. And we're going to lay it down. We're done. And then after I get this down, I'm going to go back over and show you where those seams are so you can see what we're demonstrating. For those of you um, who aren't familiar with Henry Fletcher, he was the one who did this beautiful artwork, but um, it was actually for the person who compiled and created the publication was Robert Ferber. And in the case of 12 Months of Flowers, um, what's cool is they were seasonal selections for the different months. So that's a really fun kind of aspect to the artwork. When you, if you, you know, do a little research and find um, the artist and see just the amazingness. He's got so much beautiful stuff. I'm just in deep uh, stamp finding mode over here. Never mind me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm going to get in there and burnish. Like I said, sometimes I, it's just, you don't have to do it, but I'm like, I don't want it to catch. So I'll um, kind of uh, bend up the edges a little bit. And it's the matte side that the transfer was adhered to on the carrier sheet that I like to use. It just glides really nice because you don't want to pull or tug on a newly applied transfer. And you, your first go over is going to be really um, light, light handed. Getting close here. Oh, look at those. Gorgeous. I can't believe how easily these stems are just fitting together. I could have gone so many different ways with this composition with the options available. Beautiful. 
beautiful. So let me see where I brought this in. Okay, so for example, let me bring this down close. For example, here is where the seam falls on this. Here, I did not match it up perfectly, but you it's completely blends. There's not, you know, there's not that issue because it's not a straight line. So same with right here. Like you can't even, I'm getting in close and pointing it out, but there you go. Having that tiny bit of gap here or there, if you don't get it aligned perfectly, is not a big deal. It's not going to stand out. So here is the urn. And you can see the seam like falls here and it follows this line here. So, so. Are you done? I am done. Oh, beautiful. Maybe we can put this up there when I'm done. Yeah, let me move this out of the way. I really, my main thing was I wanted to demonstrate the, um, the seams, you know, and applying the seam together. Mm -hmm. Oopsie doopsie, I'm gonna set this. Do you want me to put this over there? I'm done. I we can put okay. it up so that if we want to lift that up and put it. Or that over here, whatever you think is easiest. Yeah, what? No, let's put it up. Okay. Put this in the nice light. Facing camera, and then I'll also adjust this. Whew. Okay. Close. Let's put it on this table and move oh, this. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. You know what? Why don't you put that back up? Okay. And we'll finish this, and I'm just gonna put the screen like that. Does that work? There we go. Okay, you guys. Here are two of the transfers. And let's also do, oh yeah, yeah. Put Floral Anthology here too, <laughs> even though we didn't use it. Is this beautiful, you guys? This was so easy and so fun and turned out so beautifully. I loved the way that I was able to just kind of create this composition um, on the fly um i would probably add another stem in here coming down and connecting and you can um, take pieces of just cut a, yeah a snip that's what i did here actually okay. i cut this off um so that it looked there like it go. connected behind the leaf and didn't yeah. go over it. it and there's just so many options so i hope you guys had fun uh we sure did it was so fun to introduce you to our spring 2021 transfers and uh, connect with your stockists, ironorchidesigns.com, and uh, make sure that you let them know. Some of them are taking pre-orders, not all of them, but they're all getting them close to the same time. So Lunchbox Lady says, what about wrapping it around a piece and not on a flat surface? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And that's super easy to do. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So. Yes. Thank you again, okay, everybody. You You're awesome for joining Thank us. Thank you. We love you guys. Bye.